Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to FA 160 lecture series. And this video will be discussing on the topic of partnership. So, what is a partnership? So, in the partnership is actually governed by Partnership Act 1961. So, in the section 3, uh, bracket one, the, it says that partnership is the relation which subsists between person carrying on the business in common or with a view of profit. Means that that partnership must business that uh, in mission to get profit. And the Surahajaya Sarkar Malaysia defined the partnership as a business that owned by two or more person, but not exceeding 20 persons. And the SSM required the IC name and cannot be used um, as the business name. And normally, partnership can be in terms of a big a, a small and medium scale of business so uh, it doesn't um, affect which uh, how big the uh, partnership is so why why do we uh, establish a partnership first of all the advantage of uh, establishing a partnership you can have additional capital if you want to expand the business, of course, you need more money. And um, sometimes you need an expertise that um, the business requires that expertise in your business. So you will uh, acquire a new owner that has um, that special skill or expertise. Uh, for example, you want to uh, venture or taking a new project that related to animation. So you need to find a partner that has uh, expertise in animation. And a partnership can advantage you in dividing tasks or work among the partners. So you will less the burden of tasks in running the business. Uh, and the partnerships is regulated by Partnership Act 1961. So uh, you will have advantage of certain criteria. For example, you do not need uh, to be audited every year. Uh, in law view, the characteristic of partnerships first, it is a relationship between uh, two or more owners in, in law view. Eh? Uh, second, uh, the business activities must be aimed to make a profit. So it's a business. And the profit should be shared among partners. So if you don't share the profit so it's not a partnership and the liability of the owners are unlimited so the risk will be borne by all the risk will be borne by the owners or the partners that's from law view types of partners uh, you can have a general partner means that a partner in full sales uh, means the, the is active contribute to uh, the capitals um, and also transition and so on. So, so those are the general partner. There is a dormant, uh, some books using the word sleeping partner, where this dormant partner, is um, he or she does not um, take an active part in the management. However, he or she is still liable as a partner means that it opened for the risk. An active partner who actively participates in the management and, and uh, it will be, it will uh, call as a partner because it's 
it's still um, funded because it's actively in the management and decision making. A salary partner, commonly we found in professional firms, uh, they may receive a fixed remuneration, a fixed salary. Um, uh, however, um, they may have come to do an agreement. A small percentage of the profit will be given to the partner. Uh, however, um, the firm the firm actually fully responsible for its acts. So even though it says a uh, salary partner. Still, any action by the partner is equal as a partner. If the partner make a unwise decision, still it will impact to the business, even though it's they receive a salary. Uh, for a partnership uh, businesses, uh, they should have an agreement because we are dealing with two or more people. So they must have an agreement uh, what they would do. Um, it is in a contract, but it's not required by Partnership Act 1961. So it means that it's a voluntary or it's optional for the partners to have an agreement. And the partnership agreement should be in a written document because if you do it orally, we might forget uh, what we have agreed on. So, so it's better in a written document. And normally, we will agree on what should be the capital contributions and what are the interests for that contributions. Um, and interest on load, if you agreed uh, to have a loan from the partners or loan to the partners and what are the interests that you agreed for the loan. Drawing, uh, uh, whatever partners entitled to withdraw from the business, taking up an asset or taking up money or any other asset and what it should be, the interest will be uh, imposed on those uh, withdrawals. Uh, probably you will not agree on uh, a withdrawal, it means that you do not have, uh, partners are not allowed to withdraw any, any, any asset from the business. It can be that. And the most important thing is to agree on the ratio of profit sharing. What are the percentage of shares, a percentage of profit shared? If you make a profit, uh, what are the ratio uh, you share for a loss? That's very, very important. However, in Partnership Act 1961, Section 26, it says that without an agreement, if your partnership do not have an, any agreement, so first, the Partnership Act stated that there will be no interest on capital, 8% per annum a year, interest on loan, Partners are not given any salary. Profit will be shared equally and assumed every partner will take part in the business. So this is this is the agreement um, without an agreement of partnership that you must follow the Partnership Act 1961 uh, section 26. And we will assume, again, the partnership 1961, section 26 say that all the partners have access to account records. So you, as um, a partner, you cannot um, um, avoid or, or restrain any other partner to, to have access to the account records. 
meaning say that um, partnership act assume all the partners are aware of their financial standing because they all should have access to the account records and decisions are made by majority uh, so if your decisions are not made by majority so let's say only one partner agree and taken out a contract so without an agreement then the contract will be void because according to partnership act 1961 section 26 all decisions are made by majority so if you have three partners only one decide so it's not a majority well there's a new kind of partnership we call limited liability partnership so it's governed by limited liability partnership act 2012 it calls LLPA and it is actually a hybrid between a company and a conventional partnership and the best thing about LLP is it will be the business is separate legal entity in the view of law so the partners are will have the limited liability the minimum partners is two but there is no maximum so you, the llp can be uh, the partners for llp can be individuals or, um, or other businesses entity so the startup cost is moderate the registration cost is only cost of uh, 500 ringgit the differences between LLP and general, first of all, LLP do not have maximum limit number of partners, but in general uh, partnership, the maximum of 20, even though professionals have no limit. Uh, and the difference LLP is you have a separate legal entity whereby general partnership do not have separate legal entity so the business debt of uh, llp will be borne by the business however for general partnership the business debt are borne by the partners who have unlimited liability uh, the llp would say that it, there is no personal liability except if the partners um, wrongly act or um, omit or without an authority acting uh, by their own uh, taking up a contract or taking up a decisions without other partners knowledge so the liability will be borne by the partners um, However, um, uh, the extent of uh, liability is uh, the unpaid share capital only, um, the contrib limited to the contributions, and not the entire uh, debt of the business. Um, uh, but the general partnership is extended to all the personal assets of the partners. So the partnership account records, actually all the account records and uh, st a statement of profit or loss are the same as sole proprietorship that you have learned in file 110. However, you will have a additional statement or accounts. First of all, you after you prepare a statement of profit or loss, you need to prepare the appropriations of profit statement where you describe how you share the profit um, the second one you need to open up the partner's capital statement 
to show what are the contribution that has been made by the partners and partners uh, current statement um, where uh, where the business will display what are the items uh, owed to each partner for example interest on capital uh, the business should pay to the partners but normally uh, it will not be paid uh, for the year it will be paid um, in times uh, the partner exit uh, the partnership or retires or the business is closed that is um, what amount business to the partners the current statement actually comprise uh, the net profit and drawing figure if you remember when you do the file 110 in equity uh, in honest equity that is a capital at net profit deduct drawings remember so the capital uh, account becomes the partners uh, comes from the partners capital statement but uh, net profit and drawings items in the statement of financial positions will be um, replaced with the partners capital statement uh, partners of current statement sorry when there is a change in partnership you need to have additional records that is a goodwill statement and revaluation statement. Uh, goodwill statement um, um, comprises the value of the business in view of market value. And the revaluation statement is you um, revalue your non-current asset or your liabilities or your other assets, how you revalue that. Uh, particular assets if it's increased and it should be shared among uh, the partners okay let's um uh, let's have an example questions so that you can um, exercise on uh, what to do with appropriate uh, statements so let's say this is the example questions where uh, there are two partners to agree to form a partnership uh, starting in 2017 and the agreement say that um, they share profit uh, and loss um, the first partners are the 40% Amani 30% and Lukman 30% so 433 three. so in 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 ratio is 433 three. Um, an interest capital 5% per annum, interest on loan 4% per annum, interest on drawing 6% per annum, and salary to be paid monthly. Always, always, um, uh, if you want to do questions, uh, uh, always um, look carefully on the salary to be paid by monthly or yearly or weekly. So be specific. So it says here, uh, salary to be paid monthly uh, for uh, our money, 2000 and Lukman, 1500 So Zadi do not have a salary. So in January 2020, here are the balances extracted. Partners capital, the balance um, brought down is 200000 our money 150000 Lukman 100000 where the partners current account, this is the balance. The opening balance, uh, the balance uh, brought down, and uh, partners' current account is thirty-two, uh, our money twenty-five thousand eight hundred, and twenty-five thousand five hundred. So on thirty-first December twenty twenty, this is the first January. The data given for first January, the opening balances. So the on thirty-first December twenty twenty means that at the end of the year, of the accounting year. So the the Zal associate give you the information saying that the net profit from statement of profit or loss 
was 160,000. And then they give information on the withdrawals, I mean the drawings by partners. Um, um, it says the 1,000 that withdrawn from, uh, uh, the January, our money withdrawn 1,400 on 2nd March, uh, then 1,000 in 29 June and 800 uh, in for December. So be careful with the dates. Yeah, from 1 to uh, 15, uh, if the the withdrawal or the the date is given. Uh, 1 to 15 so you will include that particular month so for example this uh second march so it, it will start from march the interest calculations will start with march and then um if it says 29 june means that it's after 15 of the month uh start from uh 16 to uh, 16 to at the end of the month so uh, so it will uh, it will calculate for the next month for, so the interest uh, calculation will include the next month so it's 29 june so it will start from july to december and here it says look man uh withdraw uh, withdrew uh, 500 ringgit on 2nd june and 2000 ringgit on 30th november again 30th November so you you shouldn't include November you go straight to December um, on uh, the other um, information given uh, partners of Zal agreed to lend Zali 40,000 ringgit to pay deposit of his new car um, and the settlement of the loan was agreed not more than five years. Uh, this is this is just an uh, information. So this is an agreement. Uh, uh, then the Zali will pay uh, will pay installment or lump sum money for the loan uh, within that five years uh, that they have agreed. So those are separate records. So you do not need to record in appropriation statement or in the partners coming uh, statement the only need you to record is the interest regarding the loan made by zadi from the business uh, that amount of forty thousand so the questions require to you to prepare uh, the um, appropriation statement for the year um and also uh, uh preparing the um partner's current statement for the year so uh, let's have a look how we answer this question okay now we do uh, the answer so the question asks you to do the appropriation statement for the year ended 31 december 2020 so on your right uh, this is um uh this uh the an uh, the answer um means that you should write the name of the company first on the top and then the title of the statement appropriation statement for the year ended the december 2020 just the same as uh, has been required in the uh, questions so do not need to hafal to memorize that just look at the question what the, uh, the question wants okay now you have um, net profit is the first item that should be uh, written and then you add interest on drawings you add interest on drawing because the partner need to pay to the business so it should add up the 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 total of net profit because net profit there is from statement of profit or loss as you prepare the same as uh, you preparing the statement of profit or loss uh, with uh, for sole proprietor is the same however you need to add the records 
uh, to add the interest on drawings because partner has not paid that interest on drawing to the business yet. Uh, it will pay later. I don't know when, but it's later. So that's what you need to add. Uh, the net profit uh, figure, you add interest on drawing. And also you need to add interest on loan. Again, interest on loan is uh, the, the payment from partner to business. So you will add that amount on top of the net profit that you derived from the statement of profit or loss. And then the interest on capital, you need to deduct. So less deduct. Because interest on capital is business pay to partners. Interest on drawing, interest on loan, partners pay to the business. That's why you add. But interest on capital is business pay to the partner. So you need to less to deduct from the net profit. And also the salary for the partner. Salary for the partner is a business has already uh, paid to the uh, partner. So you need to less that salary. Previously, in in your statement of profit or loss, uh, you already um, uh, uh, did that, the total amount of salary, but this is the salary that you paid specifically for the partner. So how, how much is actually have you have been? Uh, you have paid to uh, 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 the partner because um, the salary is uh, more or less you already taken out the profit from the business so you need to um, that's the salary because business pay to the partner okay then um, net profit add interest on drawing add interest on loan less interest on capital less um salary for the partners you will um you will have um, uh, the profit available for operations then from the profit available for operations then you need to show what are the profit to be shared among the partners okay now let's begin okay net profit from the question, it says here, net profit, here, net profit from statement of profit or loss is 160,000. So, you need uh, to enter 160,000. The net profit has been uh, derived from statement of profit or loss. Now you need to calculate the interest on drawing. So you look at the withdrawals, uh, the partners of Zali. Okay, so Zali has withdraw um, one thousand. And uh, it has, um, remember how to calculate the interest, principal, rate, time, PRT. So principal is 1,000. The rate, we go to the questions. Interest on drawing, 6%. So 6% will be charged uh, to Zali. Okay. Then it starts from third January. The withdrawal um, has been made in January. So use your finger if you're not not confident with the calculation of months. So uh, January to December, of course, is twelve over twelve. Uh, whether you put it or not, it doesn't matter. So. Calculations yeah. and the uh, multiply point zero six 
where 12 is 1, so you have 60 ringgit of uh, uh, interest on volume for Zali and uh, money. Our money we draw a lot, right? So the, uh, the our money we draw 1500. Um, so we have three, so we should have uh, another symbol here. 550 times 6 percent times it we drew uh, my money we drew 100 one, 1 get in March so again use your finger start from March because it's too much uh, second of March so it's from the month of March so March April May June July August September October November December so it's 10 over 12 And you need to add, you need to add another one. The Amani also withdrew 1,000 ringgit. Yeah. Um, at 29 June, so start from July. So use your finger, July, August, September, October, November, December, so it's six months. So multiply six over twelve, and you need to add because our money we drew again eight hundred ringgit. Uh, 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 money well from the business, and this time first December. It's only one month, so one over twelve. So the Amani total interest on drawing for the year is one hundred and nine. So the next one is Lukman. So Lukman, however, we drew the um, what two drew drawers five hundred ringgit. Um, uh, six percent, and the withdrawal has was been made in second of June. So it start from June, not July, because it's second of June. So start from June, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It's seven month, not six. <laughs> Do not make a stupid mistake of calculating the month. Yeah it will cost you a headache later on so another one we drew uh, the um, Lukman we drew 2,000 ringgit um, again the rate is 6% however the time uh, we drew on 30th November so do not include November it's only December so 1 over 12 so now we need to calculate the total of interest on drawing for Lukman to be. So the total interest on uh, drawings to uh, for Lukman is twenty seven ringgit fifty cents, and the next one is interest on loan. Okay, the question said that um the business uh, lend money to Zali. So Zali is the one uh, uh, need to uh, pay the interest on loan. So we need to put the name of Zali and the interest on loan is um, you can see that interest on loan is 4% and the principal amount is 40,000. So 40,000 multiply with 4% that is the interest uh, that should be paid oops sorry and 
oh, it doesn't say that uh, when. Um, so we assume it's on uh, because the time need to be specific when the loan has been given to Sally. Okay, since the, it doesn't state it, so we assume from uh, first uh, first January. So uh, it's twelve over twelve. Okay, so then you need to calculate um, uh, the interest on loan for that. Okay, uh, next is to calculate the interest on capital. So normally we will give the interest on capital at the, the capital that has been contributed uh, at, at the beginning of the year. Um, uh, for example, it says here the partner's capital, Zali, has 200,000, Armani, uh, 150,000, and Lukman, 100,000. So, interest on capital um, uh, for the three uh, partners uh, or, uh, have contributed to the capital. So, uh, the, you will calculate. Um, Two hundred thousand. Oops. Two hundred thousand multiplied with again the interest on capital in the question is five percent. So five percent and multiply twelve over. Oops. Twelve over twelve because it's for a year. Okay, the same goes to um, uh, Armani and also uh, only the difference is the total amount of capital. So Armani is only 150,000 and the uh, one is 100,000. Oops. Okay. After calculation, you have Zali um, interest on capital of 10,000, uh, Amani 7,500, and look what? 5,000 for the year. Okay. So the salary now, the salary, uh, it says in the questions, Amani and Lukman only. So you only have Amani and Lukman has given a salary, but not Zali. And it says here, uh, our money uh, by monthly, monthly. So you need to multiply with 12. So our money received 2,000 a month and took month 1,500 a month. So your calculation is um, for our money is 2,000 by 12 because it's monthly. Eh? And the... Um, uh, Multiply with 12. Oops. I wrongly put this as in. I'm used to uh, using Excel, the multiply with, uh, uh, replace with the S string. So, okay, 2000 multiply with 12. And um, for look mine, multiply with 12. Okay, then you need to calculate the total interest on drawing. Okay, you, will, you can use the uh, equals to summation. So you are summing up that. Okay, once you have calculated the total of interest on drawing, this is the uh, total interest on drawing uh, for all the partners and in the total interest on loan, 
total of uh, interest uh, on capital and total of salary paid to the partners. So now you need to calculate the profit available for appropriations. So you need to add the net profit with the interest on drawing and also you need to add interest on loan but then you need to deduct the interest on capital and deduct the salary that has been paid to uh, the partners. So this is uh, the profit available for appropriations is 97 296 and 50 cents. So now you need to calculate what are uh, to be shared among these three partners. So Zali, um, Amali, and also Lukman. Okay, remember, um, uh, you need to refer the, uh, again to the agreement. Um, the share of profit uh, for the partners. Zali is 40%, Amani is 30%, and Lukman is 30%. So Zali should receive a 40%. So 40% of the um, um, uh, profit available for appropriation. So multiply with 97 to 96.50. That is the amount uh, that, that, that to be shared among the partners uh, and the Amani and uh, uh, only receive 30 percent and Lukman 30 percent so then you will calculate So then you will see that um, Zali will receive 38,918.60 cents, uh, whereby Amani and Lukman will receive 29,188.95. Okay, uh, this appropriate statement is very, very important for the partners because this is the evidence they need to provide to Lembaga Hasil Dalam Negeri. What is the amount of profit that will become their taxable income? So that's why you need to be very accurately calculate the profit sharing of the partners. If you wrongly calculated, the partners can sue you because you um, uh, wrongly calculated, and they would um, probably be penalty by the Labaga Hase Dalam Negeri. So be careful on that. Okay, now you already uh, um, uh, complete the profit uh, sharing um, uh, of. Uh, the statement of state appropriate appropriation statement for the year ended 31st 2020 showing what are the profit sharing among the partners so now you become to um what are the uh the partner's current statement would look like huh? okay the part partner's current statement will show you what are the profit has been shared or what are um, the amount that the business owed to the partners and also what are the partners owed to the business okay um, you can memorize it or you can put it on your notes um, uh, the partners current statement should have first this uh, balance uh, carry forward that is uh, brought down uh, from last year, that is the beginning 
of the year at uh, the balance of the beginning of the year and you need to add interest on capital accrued salary salary that has not been paid yet uh, probably uh, will be paid next year but it will not be included um uh, uh, the calculations are uh, it's not will be included in the statement of profit or loss uh, 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 but uh, the money has not been paid yet it has been already included in the statement of profit or loss okay just accrued the salary N not the salary has been paid because um in the appropriation statement those are the salary that has been paid but this one is not been paid yet okay then the appropriations uh, um, appropriations uh, of profit okay then now we have uh, three partners that is uh, and we have um, our money and also the book money so you need to uh, separate them okay so interest on capital that has been given to zali we can start uh, taking out from oops sorry interest on capital for zali is ten thousand uh, there is no accrued salary so you can put zero and then the appropriations uh, appropriations of profit for zadi that we have calculated is 38,000 uh, plus and the interest on uh, drawing okay uh, we have calculated for zadi interest on drawing is total just put the total 60 ringgit and do not forget the amount that has been withdrew by zadi there is 1,000 ringgit and interest of loan is that he has yes that he has interest on loan need to be paid okay so now the balance brought down is you can see from the question is 32,000 so 32,000 add interest on capital add with accrued salary add appropriations of profit I mean the share of profit uh, from the statement of uh, uh, appropriations statement of appropriation profit and uh, interest on drawing the drawings and interest on loan so your balance ending balance of partners zali current statement is seventy eight thousand two hundred and fifty eight and sixty cents so now uh, for our money Okay, so the balance, um, the opening balance is 25,800 and the interest on capital for our money is 7,500. There is no accrued salary and the appropriations, uh, appropriations uh, profit that we've been given to our money is 29,000 and then the interest on drawing total is 109 and the total of drawing our money is 1500 add with uh, 1000 is 2500 so then you add with again uh, um, 800 so it will it's 3300 am i correct Okay, use your calculator. Okay, then um, Lukman. Oh, sorry, there is two interest on loan. Uh, well, by Amani. Yeah. Okay, now for well, Lukman, the uh, balance broke down from uh, last year uh, for the Lukman current account is twenty five thousand five hundred. Okay, interest on capital for well, Lukman is 5,000. Uh, oops, there is no car, uh, accrued salary. The appropriations, 29,000. 
And the interest on drawing that we have calculated for Lukman is 27. Okay, the drawings for Lukman is 2,100. And there is no interest on drawing. There, you have the partner's current statement. If the uh, question asks for partner's capital statement, uh, you only have a beginning of balance of capitals but there is no additional capital by the partner so it will be the same the um, balance uh, opening balance and the, the opening balance and also the ending balance okay uh, that that's all um um how the um how uh, the example uh, of exercise you, you have a uh, questions uh, to be um, to be done for uh, appropriation statement and also partners current statement but these are the before changes i mean there is no retirement and no new partner that comes to the business okay that's all for now thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding uh, the examples or also, or also the, this video you can always as your teaching lecturer. Okay. Bye bye for now. See you in the next video.